The US F-35 is the newest US fifth-generation fighter and the main US fifth-generation fighter in active service today. But this fighter has a big problem. It is a strategic success, but tactical extreme failure of the product. I say it is a tactical failure because the performance of this fighter can hardly be called a fifth-generation aircraft. The earliest standard for the fifth-generation aircraft is the 5S standard set by the F-22 fighter jet. However, the F-35 has broken these standards. In addition to stealth and over-the-horizon perception, the F-35 fighter jet and the F-22 set the standard of five-generation aircraft are not related at all. The U.S. own positioning for the F-35 fighter is a multi-purpose five-generation aircraft. F-35 fighter can perform air combat missions, but also can perform anti-ship and ground attack mission, so it can be called a multifaceted. But the F-35's versatility also means that these functions are not refined. When the F-35 is used as an air combat fighter, it is difficult for it to reach the level of the J-20 in terms of air combat capability. Not to mention, stealth and maneuverability alone is the F-35 in the air war, absolute dead spot. In the case of the same level of technology on both sides, single-engine multi-purpose fighters, basic and double-engine air superiority fighters than maneuverability and stealth. In the ground attack mission, the F-35 fighter's ground attack capability can be stronger than the F-15 fighter. Just one combat range is the F-35 can't match, the F-15's moat, the F-15's maximum range is more than 3,600 kilometers, and the maximum range can reach about 5,000 kilometers after hanging up the sub-tanks. In contrast to the F-35 in the case of not hanging tanks, the maximum range is only about 2,200 kilometers, shorter than the F-15 about 1,400 kilometers. The reason why the United States to engage in multi-purpose five-generation aircraft, the core reason is to reduce costs. According to the United States of America's vision, at the end of the Cold War, they're invincible. The production of a multi-purpose five-generation aircraft, whether it is an air war or the ability to hit the ground, can rely on their more advanced technology to suppress each other, but the United States did not expect the rapid development of China's aviation industry. From the end of the Cold War to China's own fifth-generation aircraft landed only 20 years, taking into account that the F-35 fighter jet was finalized and first flew in 2005, the U.S. F-35 is actually less than 10 years ahead of time after landing. With the existing problems with the F-35, it might have been much better for the U.S. to give it an extra engine. But for one thing, the U.S. design F-35 did not think China can later come to the fore, and secondly, the U.S. In order to expand the service volume of the F-35 to be as low as possible to depress the cost of the airframe design to be able to save the province. Secondly, the United States is planning to sell the F-35 aircraft to their allies. If the F-35 is too expensive, then the U.S. allies will not buy. So the F-35 ended up being a single-engine, multi-purpose, fifth-generation aircraft. But it also became a multi-purpose aircraft that was not very good at any of its uses. In some ways, the F-35 may even be the death of U.S. air superiority. This aircraft allowed the United States to waste the advantages accumulated before the Chinese J-20 service. Can be said to stop the development of the U.S. Air Force for 20 years? Now the more F-35 fighters are built, the more proof of the U.S. panic. Because in the case of F-35 single aircraft combat power is not as good as J-20. The United States needs to maintain its own quantitative advantage in the five generations of aircraft in order to ensure a certain air superiority. In fact, according to the original design of the United States, the F-35 fighter jet behind the J-20 fighter jet is really not a big deal. Because according to the U.S. planning at the time, in the F-35 service after the U.S., will step up research on the sixth generation aircraft. China's fifth generation aircraft will not be so fast landing. When China's fifth generation aircraft landing, the United States of America's sixth generation aircraft should also come out. By then, the U.S. Air Force will still be one generation ahead of the Chinese Air Force. But the result we have seen, China's aviation development speed is much faster than the United States. J-20 service speed and production exceeded the United States expected. By now, the U.S. is struggling to produce a sixth-generation aircraft, while China's sixth-generation aircraft has successfully made its maiden flight in December 2024, and the U.S. 
will not have a sixth-generation aircraft in service for another 10 to 20 years. After another 10 to 20 years, China's sixth-generation aircraft in service and the United States of America's sixth-generation aircraft is not in service. Then the United States Air Force will be China's suppression of a generation. The most critical thing is that, according to the current situation in the United States, the United States of America's sixth-generation aircraft is likely to end up difficult to produce because the U.S. military industrial system is so problematic, building any weapon will eventually overspend. Now the United States for the sixth-generation aircraft price estimate is a more than 300 million U.S. dollars, and there is the possibility of continuing to improve. Current U.S. military spending has reached 800 to 900 billion U.S. dollars a year but so much military spending is still not enough. So the U.S. cannot afford to build or use sixth-generation aircraft, resulting in the U.S. sixth-generation aircraft program in September 2024 has been suspended, and the U.S. is now discussing whether to develop a lightweight next-generation fighter to save costs. The reason why the F-35 is a strategically successful aircraft is that it has directly destroyed the European military aviation industry. The F-35 was too advanced compared to European aircraft when it landed and was affordable for Europe. This led many European countries to start importing F-35S and then gave up developing their own fifth-generation aircraft. The result of Britain's F-35 fighter aircraft is that many European countries have seen a large number of military aviation industry companies go bankrupt in the process, allowing Europe's military industrial capacity to decline further. What is well known is that the best way to hit a country's industry is to dump directly on that country. Cheaper foreign goods are poured into that country, then the relevant industrial system of that country will simply collapse, thus losing the ability to produce the relevant products. The U.S. exports a large number of F-35 fighter jets to Europe, which is essentially a form of dumping. We can all see the results of the dumping of warplanes by the United States on Europe. Now Europe can only produce fourth-generation aircraft like the Rafale and it is incapable of producing fifth-generation aircraft, even though the first flight of the F-35 has taken place almost 20 years ago. It can be said that the U.S. has kept the European aviation industry in place for at least 20 years through dumping tactics. For the U.S. to control Europe, it needs a poor and weak Europe. Currently Europe can't build a fifth-generation airplane, which naturally fits the U.S. needs very well. So the U.S. F-35 fighter aircraft, although it did not meet its needs to suppress the Chinese Air Force, but it met the need to weaken Europe's military capabilities, and it was strategically successful.